Welcome to Gamer Mode. Meet the crew. Twins Ava and Millie on Gamer Chats. Shifra in the Streamer's Corner. Gaming Champion Nevin in the Big Review and Nevin vs. The World. And me, I'm Max. Ever wished you could play video games in class? Ava and Millie have got you covered as they chat to Daniel O'Reilly about Minecraft in education. Wouldn't it be amazing if you could play video games as part of school? Well, today we're going to ask Daniel O'Reilly how he made that possible. So, Daniel, where are you from? So, I'm from Armagh in Northern Ireland, and I work in a place called the AMA Centre, which is part of the Education Authority. We work with anything that's creative. Um, we work with technology, things like game making and coding and animation, everything, film making. We work really hard as a team of us, and we try to bring that stuff into schools to make learning more fun. How does it work? What games do you use? The projects I'd like to talk to you most about today is how we use Minecraft, and that's something we really specialise at, because Minecraft, Minecraft can be used for coding, it can be used for um, just building stuff. So, for example, um, a castle that, that, that I grew up beside in Monaghan called Rossmore Castle, it, it was knocked down and demolished like 50 years ago and nobody knows what that castle looks like. But we were able to go to archives and get the real plans and then get the young people to work with us as builders and architects and to build a fantastic scale replica of this castle. So in doing that, all these young people they learn so, so much and something that no longer exists now exists. And how do you think using games like Minecraft improves the learning process? It's about being creative. You know, if you can be creative and have fun with your learning, it's, you're gonna, you know, you know what it's like, girls. I'm sure when you sit and you're playing on a computer game, you can just spend hours and hours. And if you're doing something creative and fun, you can sit and look at your watch and go, where did the hang go? So what are the new projects you're working on? So we're always doing lots and lots of different projects um, with Minecraft and other things. But we, one of the things that's most popular is where we go out and we look at a school we go outside and we measure it, we learn how big it is, how high it is, and then we go back in, draw up a plan, and build a school in Minecraft, which is a very, very popular one. Minecraft Education Edition has some fantastic programming tools built into it, so we're finding lots of interest in, in seeing how we can learn to code through Minecraft. So rather than just having something moving around the screen, we can actually code Steve or Alex to build something for us automatically in Minecraft. And then the other one is the, the Rossmore Castle project that I talked about earlier. It's, it's still evolving. It's going to be put online for, for everyone to use at some point. And we have new things like hydroelectric schemes coming into it where we generate power in Minecraft and power the lights in the castle. And also a gas works where we make gas so that you can turn on the lamps and the cookers in the castle and things like that. So we're doing so much and there's so much more we want to do. Where did you get the idea to start all this? So I have two young children at home, two boys, and they're playing Minecraft all the time. They're watching YouTube videos about Minecraft. And then I thought, wouldn't it be great if we could do some of this in the many schools that we work with? So when we go into schools then, we just look at the topics the teachers are doing and we see, is there a way that we can bring Minecraft into this and make it more fun to learn? And sometimes we learn from the schools as well and see what they're doing and take that to other schools. So an example of that is Armagh Christian Brothers School in Armagh and uh, rang a Shea in there, um, Munchor Galvin. We went in to visit and see what he was doing. And he, their topic was World War One, and they were learning about the trenches and what it was like to live in the trenches. And he asked the class to, to rebuild some of those trenches. And he'd done this fantastic project where they had the trenches on both sides. And they had guns that were using um, redstone and fireworks and they were able to shoot across the trenches. And those children were so engrossed in that project, it was fantastic. So we learn and the ideas just flow from the students. Do you think that we'll soon start seeing more video games in schools? So we're seeing loads and loads of games everywhere. Ga the gaming industry is so, so big at the minute, but the challenge for schools is how to use gaming to learn as opposed to just sitting for hours playing games. And that really is the big challenge. And that's where things like Minecraft are so effective because you build and you create and you program and you learn and you recreate. Um, maybe things like Fortnite and things like that, maybe they're not going to work so well for learning. Um, but the other thing to say is we all see the apps that we use on our iPads and things like that. Um, gamification is the word, the word where we're maybe learning how to spell better or how to count better by playing little counting games. So we're seeing loads of it and we're going to see lots more. What does gamification mean? So gamification is a great word and all that says is how we use games to learn. So we gamify the learning and apply some fun. 
And can you give us kids a tip to motivate our teachers to get to look at video games in the classroom? Yeah, so the first thing I'd say to you is to look around and see what other schools are doing. And if you see a really good idea, if some of the stuff you see on this show today, if you think it's really good, go in and show it to your teacher. And tell your teacher, make a plan and pitch it to your teacher and say, if you give us an hour on Friday morning and let us use Minecraft, we will build our school for you or we will we will do some pixel art or something really new and something really fun. Convince your teacher. What about VR? Can you talk to us a little bit about VR in education? VR is fantastic. If you look at Google, Google VR or Google Cardboard as it's called, they have these fantastic videos that will allow you to go to other places in the world and to stand with the emperor penguins in Antarctica to you know, see the pyramids and put the VR set on and look around you as if you're there. But my favourite way of using VR is if you build something in Minecraft, like a school or a castle, or being able to build that and then put the headset on and walk through it as if it's real. That really brings it to life. You, you learn about the light, you learn about the space, the size. In terms of skills, if any young people want to go on to be architects and engineers and things like that, well, there's no better way to do it. Well, well, thanks for coming in to talk to us today about this, Daniel. And no best problem. luck to bring in Minecraft into all Irish schools. Thank you, thank you. It was good yeah, fun being here. Thank you. And that's it for this season. Thanks so much for watching, and don't forget, you can catch up with all things Gamer Mode online and on the RTE player. See you again soon on Gamer Mode.